stall negotiations for that state. Shalila Madura, World News Australia. Police raids in Melbourne have resulted in five people being arrested for allegedly illegally managing 100 sex workers. As well as the arrests, property, cars and cash were also seized. Cuffed and in custody, one of two women and three men arrested in raids across Melbourne alleged to have been illegally managing 100 sex workers at various brothels. We believe that we've taken out the syndicate heads, the five people that we arrested yesterday, but we're certainly looking at some underlings and uh, our investigations will go in that direction. While the brothels are legal, as was the work of the prostitutes from the East Asia region, police claim the so-called syndicate members were unlicensed and living off the proceeds of crime, making more than half a million dollars in five months. They were taking money in relation to the services provided and they were indeed rostering the women, placing them in the different, uh, different brothels, uh, providing accommodation and charging them for it. Acting on information received in September last year, the police operation has been run by the AFP's human trafficking team. But no allegations of sex slavery or human trafficking have been made. We haven't got any evidence of human trafficking at this stage, um, but we are certainly chasing those inquiries. Victoria Police worked closely with federal authorities. The exploitation of women in any sense is intolerable, and that's what we've actually got to uh, drive out. Police video shows an Aladdin's cave of treasures, including rows of perfume bottles, racks of designer shoes and handbags. Police also seized four apartments across Melbourne, along with three luxury cars, as well as $50,000 in cash, all part of a proceeds of crime investigation into the alleged syndicate. All five appeared in Melbourne Magistrates Court this afternoon. The matter was adjourned until Friday. Alan Rascal, World News Australia. Nelson Mandela remains critical but stable in hospital tonight. Elsewhere, the dispute